All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. So today, we are in SQL, even though I have uh, Excel up, but we're going to be talking about grouping sets. Now, grouping sets allow you to combine multiple uh, groupings or group buys in a single query. They're perfect when you need to create a summary table or a summary report. Now, unlike a traditional group by, which only gives you the ability to produce one grouping per result set, grouping sets gives you the flexibility to produce multiple group buys or multiple groupings in a result set. Basically, you'll have the ability to analyze data at multiple levels of granularity, all within one query result. So let me show you what I'm going to show you here. And this lesson assumes you know what a group by statement is. If you don't, go ahead and watch this video over here first, where I talk about group by and uh, partition by, but let me show you in Excel um, what a grouping set can do for you. Okay, so I'm in Excel and I made this little worksheet in Excel and basically I took the results from my grouping set and copied it here into Excel and of course I did a little formatting. Uh, maybe I'll make a, a members only video where I show how I do this uh, formatting in Excel, but for the most part just, just put your SQL hat on here and try and follow what I'm trying to show you here. So now, um, Let's take a look at this number here. You can see my overall sum of sales is this uh, 2.297 uh, million number. And you'll notice there's nothing for region or ship mode. Um, I just have that overall sum of sales. So think of that as one query, right? And now let's say that I'm taking the same, um, I'm taking that same data set, but I'm just grouping by region and I'm getting that same breakdown of sales. It's just group by region, right? And so now on my third level of granularity, I have this, right? This is all the same information, just broken down by region and ship mode, right? I would have a query to do this overall number. I'd have a query to do this group by region, uh, sum of sales, and I'd have a query to do group by region, ship mode, and, and sum of sales. But with grouping sets, I get to combine all of that into one query. So that's what I'm going to show you. Let's head over to uh, SQL Server. Okay, let's take a look at our data. We are in SQL Server here, and I'm using um, my Tableau heads know about uh, Superstore data from Tableau here. So shout out to Tableau. Um, let's go ahead and execute this. You can see this is what the table looks like. And, you know, I'm not using all of this data. I want to make uh, an aggregation table. But you can see I have a number of dimensions, ship mode, right? I've got uh, segment, I've got city, state, category. So there's a number of dimensions. But to get that, um, uh, that same data that I showed you earlier, I can union three queries together. So take a look at this. To get an overall sum of sales, I could run this. So if I run this, and because I'm unioning, I have to, you know, I'm putting in grand total as the level and two nulls, you know, I don't want to show anything for the region or the ship mode and just a sum of sales, just rounding to two decimals from Superstore. I get that. Next level, I am putting in, or I'm grouping by the region, right? And I just want to show region as the level. If I run that, you'll see I get that. You remember that from Excel. And so third query here is the region and ship mode as my group by. You can see I have region and ship mode here. And if I run this, you'll see that I get uh, additional records, a lower level of granularity, and I get all of these records here, as you can see, uh, at that level of granularity. So three queries, and I'm going to union all them together. I'm using union all over union because it's more performant with a union all. I don't have to check for distinctness. So it's a good little habit to, to get into if you don't need a union. So here we go. Let's run all of these... Uh, uh, queries together. We're going to combine them all together into one table. And you can see I get this result. I get the grand total level. I get the region 
um, level here, sorry, region level, and then I get my region and ship mode level and I get those sum of sales appropriately. So I can run this, uh, this union, right, this union all I should say for three queries and get this result. So now let me show you the same query, but with grouping sets, it's a lot more efficient. Okay, now let's take a look at this query right here. So I'm selecting region ship mode, and we're going to do a sum of sales, right? Everything, you know, nothing out of the ordinary here from my table, group by. So now this is new. If you haven't seen this before, you're going to group by, and instead of listing out your fields, your dimensions, you want to group by, you're going to say group by grouping sets. Okay. And you're going to open parentheses and close parentheses. Now in between those parentheses, you can choose any combination of fields that you have put into your select, any combination at all. So now I only have the region and the, uh, the ship mode, but you know, I can, I can, uh, put any combination of fields in between grouping sets. Um, it's just a shortcut for doing a union all. So take a look at this, this, this is the empty grouping set. What this is saying is, uh, ignore the fields, just give me the sum of sales for the entire, for all sales in the table, right? We're not grouping by anything. It's a grand, it's a grand total, right? Give me the sum of sales. We're not grouping by anything. So that's the notation here. This is saying we're going to have a comma and then we're going to put in, I put in region. So now union all that together with a group by region. Okay. And then also union all that together with a group by region and ship mode. You remember the previous query, you remember this query, right? And we don't have to, you know, call out, um, you know, the grant, the uh, grand total, which is just that, um, just the region and then the region in the ship mode with this nomenclature, we put it all in between these parentheses for grouping sets. And so now here, let me just run this so you can see and look at these results, right? Look at these results. It's basically the same results we had from unioning everything together, right? So it's a fantastically efficient shortcut using grouping sets. And so you may say, what is grouping ID? So I'm going to read this. Grouping ID is used to create a value for each row in the grouping level column to identify the level of grouping. Okay, let me show you this grouping ID in action here. You can see I have a grouping ID function, and then I fed it region and ship mode because those are the two dimensions that I've selected in my select. So this is the only thing that I've added to the query here. We're selecting the grouping ID so you can see what it does. So let me run this. Oops, don't know why it says I have a syntax error when it ran correctly that time. So now let's take a look, look at this. You see I have a grouping ID. Now what the grouping ID tells me is that, hey, this one row right here, because this is the only one with three, is one of our grouping sets that we've uh, defined. And all of these with one, with a grouping ID of one, this is all another grouping set. And then the third one is with the zeros, right? That's a third grouping set. So that grouping ID, and I'll read what I uh, have here from, uh, from the source. Grouping ID is used to create a value for each row in the grouping level column to identify the level of grouping. Grouping levels are not always a consecutive list of integers that start with one. And so the reason why I like the grouping ID is because you, we need to order by something. If you don't have um, this order by in here, you're not guaranteed to get all your rows in the correct order when you run this. So, so that's why I like to use the grouping ID. That's the first reason why I like to use the grouping ID. Now, the second reason I like the grouping ID is because I'll use it in this case statement. So I'll include this to let me know what the values are, right? And then I don't need it anymore. I can comment it out, but now I'll put in this case statement because I know what the numbers are for the grouping IDs. I know what the grouping IDs are. And because I know what they are, I can create a level, right? A grouping level. And so when I feed it all of the dimensions, 
right? I know zero is the region and ship mode. It's the lowest level of granularity. So the level is going to be region ship mode. Um, when I see one, I know it's just a group by region only, as you can see, right? So when it's one, I say region. And when it's three, I say grand total for my grouping level. So I create this case statement. And what that does when I run this, it gives me that grouping level instead of the grouping ID. So now I've got this nice table that I can take, I can copy, put in Excel, and I've got a nice summary report here. So, you know, I can go back to Excel uh, and show you. But again, all I did was I just took this, I cut and pasted it into Excel, and I've got a nice, quick, easy summary report. Here we are back in Excel, as you can see. Um, all I did was I deleted the nulls uh, that returned from the query, just deleted the nulls out here, so I've got blanks. And then this is the value, essentially, uh, from my query. So again, something that is very easy to do, very efficient. I don't have to union three queries together or multiple queries together. I can use that grouping set. So hopefully that's something new that is going to help you uh, basically analyze your data. You can make it something quick and easy. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to see how I put this together. I'll probably, you know, do that in a members only video or something like that. But again, hope this has been informative for you. Go ahead, use that grouping sets. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.